The Ministry of Economic Affairs Bureau of Energy has planned a second phase of energy saving. This will focus on old air conditioning and lighting equipment in department stores, factories, universities and government agencies. There will be subsidies of about one-third of the cost to replace old equipment. The new system is expected to go into operation early next year. During the summer, there is a drain on electricity. Premier Lin Chuan called on people to cut electricity usage. Lin has now launched the second phase of reduced electricity use, focused on shops, department stores, factories, universities and government agencies, through giving subsidies for energy-saving appliances. Water-cooled store air conditioning equipment costs hundreds of millions of NT dollars to replace. However, if the government offers subsidies, the industry is happy to replace old equipment with equipment that reduces electricity usage, with energy savings of about 30 percent. According to the Bureau of Energy, if lighting and air conditioning equipment is at the end of its useful life, or if there is poor lighting, businesses can apply for a subsidy. The executive yuan plans to disperse six to eight billion NT dollars over three years, probably starting from next year. Last year, the government implemented the first phase of smart energy saving, with subsidies offered to people to change older, inefficient electrical appliances, but the outcome was not as effective as expected. The second phase of energy saving includes cooperation between energy technology services and banks to provide loans to maximize energy saving incentives.